Hello everyone, this is Dylan from the Trini Gardener channel and I'm so excited that you made it back for this video. I know a lot of people have been requesting this video ever since I did my cucumber growing guide and sorry I haven't been able to bring it to you up until now but I've got you today so stay tuned and we're going to learn about trellises. Now a trellis is basically any structure that you have available which you can either have or you can create which will allow your vining crops to grow upwards and grow vertically rather than sprawl all over the ground. Now, if you happen to have access to an entire field just for yourself and you can allow your vining plants, your, um, your cucumbers and your squashes to just sprawl all along the ground, then, you know, by all means, go ahead and do that. But for the home gardener who is working with very limited space, it's a very useful tool to be able to grow your plants upwards. That way, instead of having one plant take over an entire area you can have many plants growing upwards and that way you get a lot more um, use out of your square footage which for many of us is a very precious commodity that we want to make the most use of to begin with we're just going to start with the original trellis which is just simply a wire fence if you have one or you have access to one a neighbor or something like that and here we have a giant passion fruit um, also known as the um, babadine or the giant granadilla right growing just all along the fence here right so this is more or less a trellis and you can see that they actually um, there are tondrils just like the cucumbers have tondrils on them that will attach themselves to it so if you have a structure like this already home then you don't actually need to go out and create anything for a trellis you basically already have a natural trellis here that you can use because so many fences like these they remain bare with nothing on it so if you are so inclined you just grow some stuff and let it grow up onto the wire itself and it saves you the stress of having to think about or create a trellis this is a BRC, also known as cattle panel trellis. That's what that metal wire is. It looks complicated, but it's super simple. You start off with the post itself. So this here is just a stalk from a bougainvillea plant. That I pounded it into the ground, right? So that's one side. And then on the other side of the trellis, we put the other post into the ground. I just pounded it in with a sledgehammer. So the top there is a bit uh, mushroomy. Right, just make sure that that goes into the ground so it's fairly sturdy right and then the next step would be now that we have our post to attach the cattle panel to the post itself right the brc to the post itself and to do that we use some copper wire that you can see here that goes around the pole around the brc and ties in really snug one at the top one at the bottom here we could have put one also in the middle but it really wasn't necessary that was strong enough and we did the same thing on the other side you can see here the copper wire right at the top that just went around the pole around the brc held that in there good another one at the bottom right fairly stable the next step here to just give an added layer of strength was tying a wire around the pole and brc to something sturdy in this case here is a stump from the bougainvillea plant that is fairly well rooted into the ground right so that wire would keep any um shaking of the trellis to a minimum because the trellis can be a bit heavy when it's brc because it, it is it is iron right so here we have the same thing touching from the pole to this fence post here which is you know steel right so um it's really not going anywhere having um the wire attached to this big steel post that it's cast into the ground right and um, that's sort of our anchor a second layer of anchorage right so here you can look at what we got this is the brc cattle panel trellis and we have four plants actually growing there two cucumbers two bodhi also known as yard long bean growing there which normally you wouldn't have been able to have you'd probably just have one plant covering this entire space and now we have four with space for two more actually right so these are our um, you can see the body climbing up there and you can see the two cucumbers right next to one another which normally would not be possible again with the trellis it is just look at something here this cucumber we allowed a sucker to go that's just a branch of the cucumber and we have some cucumbers on the ground which is nice but it's on the ground so it's going to get dirty insects can easily get to it and damage the um, produce 
But look here, we have some more cucumbers and these grew up on the trellis itself. And look at the difference. You can just see that the skin itself is a lot healthier. Here is another version of a trellis. I initially didn't plan for this to be a trellis. I just put this chicken wire here to protect this cucumber from the, um, this is actually cucumber from the cucumber growing guide. Um, but um, this chicken wire here, I only used it for the protection from birds and the cucumber um, seems to like it. And it's uh, growing right up, finding on. And these are the tendrils that you hear me talking about a few times um, right here. And then right here, the plant itself will actually send out these almost like scouts looking for structure to climb onto. You have one here and they're really, really good. They're really strong. The plant doesn't actually need that much firm of a structure. It will hold on to pretty much anything. As long as it's, you know, like this will slightly move. As long as it's fairly um, firm, the plant will, you know, make do with it. And let me actually show you that the cucumber, which I sent out, this, this is a sucker. It um, has attached to the leaf itself of a pepper tree this is just a seven foot pepper and yeah it's the plant wants to grow you know it wants to move and expand and it will find a way to do it as long as there's some kind of structure all right so you don't necessarily need to go out and create you know this was somewhat created but really it's just chicken wire that i put in like a cylinder and just sort of um intertwined it um here right a little bit of um wire and that's working as a trellis here okay very very simple you definitely do not need to spend a lot of money on your trellis at all um i've seen some trellises uh, like a corner called trellis that they sell in a few agro shops that is you know it is useful but 75 dollars to 100 dollars for one to grow one plant a hundred dollars doesn't make sense spending so much of money guys you can do so much but not spending even a fraction of that, right? This was just wire that we had lying around. So basically free and it's growing my plant here. I'm not paying $100 just to get one plant growing up like that. No, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's illogical. So this here is a trellis thing I did that I am trying for the very first time. Um, it's something that's been done for generations. Um, it's just something I've never tried before. Um, so I can't really say that I've had success with it, but I will, you know, let you all know how it's going. This is called um, the three sister um, form of um, gardening, right? And it's a form of trellising. What you actually do is here I have a body plant and here I have an okra plant. And what people have been doing for, you know, um, many, many years, um, it's been done in Trinidad, apparently, um, you know, farmers a long time ago and probably even today are doing this, which is that you plant a vining crop like Bodhi, right, which is just um, yard long um, beans, right, for those of you who are not from Trinidad, um, you, which is again a vining crop, you plant it next to something that is a sturdy straight plant like um, this okra here right okra or okra for those of you who say okra and you can even use corn right and what you do is as these plants um, grow up you have the body right or the yadlon bean you have it vine all along the okra or the corn or whatever you have all right so this is a form of trellising that again i haven't tried just as yet um it's really interesting I, I you know i like i like the concept of it it's just that um i haven't tried it myself so i can't tell you how much success i've had for it but if people have been doing it for generations there must be some truth to it and just one thing i call it a tree sister form of gardening because um, normally you would have the bean right dividing crop the sturdy crop and then you would have a ground cover crop like something like pumpkin or squash that would be the third sister so this is my Two sister form of gardening i'll let you all know how it goes um i, I heard about it i read about it and um, i think um, it could be interesting to see um, what happens with it okay so I'll, I'll you know stay in contact on the instagram and i'll let you know if this is working or if i need to install some kind of um, trellising system for this body here right and last but definitely not least of the trellising ideas is this string trellis system that I created and I'll be doing a very detailed video showing you how you can do one of these on your own for your home and here we have some cucumbers and one squash growing up I have I'm just starting to train the plants up so I'm using these um, green clips to just guide this is the squash here 
so just hanging it onto the line the cucumbers which are better at climbing they already have their tundrils um, ready to just grab onto whatever they can get onto so they will climb very well on this um, string here just guiding it in the beginning um, stages this cucumber plant which was attacked recently um, i also have it growing up right um, helping it out with the clips there so the idea here is that these plants they're going to grow upwards and i'll keep on training them so if they fall down i'll just kill, clip them and i'll have them grow upwards this entire planter the idea is to fill because there's a planter there that you can't see too well i will be adding four plants to the existing three plants here so this entire wall is going to be ideally covered with just leaves Right, as I said, I'm going to be doing a detailed video showing you how to make up trellis like this. And there you go. I hope that I've encouraged you and motivated you to create your own trellises and you know stop buying expensive trellises and use what you have at home. If you know someone who could benefit from this information, share this video with them so that they can grow more food for themselves and their family. And you know, let me know in the comments below: Are you currently using trellises? What do you plan to use? And um, what do you plan to grow with the trellises that I've shown you here? Your cucumber, your squash, even pumpkin. You can, um, you know, grow that with your trellises. Remember, you can also follow us on Instagram at the Training Gardener, and you can even post pictures of yourself uh, using the trellises and trellis ideas, and um, tag us on Instagram so that we can see what's going on with yourself and your garden, or even pictures of your harvest. We're always excited to see what people are growing or what you're up to. Remember, this has been Dylan with the Training Gardener channel, reminding you to get up and get growing. Take care.